Hi guys, that was Winter Morning Swim. It was also day 10 of the Cold Water 10 Day Challenge. There's a pretty good spot we're in at that lake. If it's a clear morning, if there's no clouds and it's not drizzling, you get a really good view of the sunrise from there. Unfortunately, being the UK, it was overcast. It was drizzly. We didn't actually see much of the sunrise, but you know, winter solstice is a pretty big thing. Not so much People don't really make a big deal of it now, but in Northern European culture, uh, especially like in a spiritual way, going back you know thousands of years, summer solstice, winter solstice are two really big days, probably the most important days in the calendar. So it's nice at that level to kind of connect with some of these ancient traditions, even if it was a bit drizzly, it still felt really good getting out there. With the lake I was at, there were actually other people uh, swimming this morning. Uh, doing the winter solstice thing. I didn't speak with them. It's, it's a medium to fairly large size lake. They were over one side swimming. I was over the other. Uh, sometimes I do like doing stuff in groups, but often I like doing things solo. But I'd say more often than not, things like this I prefer doing solo. So I do plan on meeting up with some of these groups that meet down there as well. Uh, but this morning it was nice to do it solo. I mean, for me, winter solstice, is, it's like a, I'm not an overly spiritual person. But things like that, I think it's nice to do on your own. Um, in terms of the 10 day challenge, how it's affected me, it's been profound changes I've found from doing this 10 day cold water challenge. It's, I've found like just getting up every morning, just the cold water exposure has really put me like a, in a good routine. Like most other people, it's easy to stay up like late at night, you know, watching YouTube, uh, reading reading stuff on the internet just generally wasting your time when you should be like sleeping um the cold water challenge is getting up every morning it's put, by half nine now at night I'm, I'm like knackered um i pretty much always make youtube video videos in the morning uh fairly early early morning so i'm generally up six half six uh but i, I often have to peel myself out of bed since doing the cold water challenge there were there's early on like day two day three had that problem i was like oh, i didn't really get up this morning well by day you know five six seven i was pretty much just bouncing out of bed and I, I think a lot of that is to do just the routine getting up and the cold water almost like in a weird way just rebooting um your body um it's definitely almost felt like it's changed what i want to do in my body i mean I don't, i'm not really a big drinker but i've, I've drank very very little in the last 10 days i've had like on two nights like one can of guinness and that was enough to knock me out and not even in, in a particularly nice way i felt kind of almost a bit like sick and like a headache so i've definitely felt like a lot healthier it's definitely like a mind it, it's, it's hard to talk about it without just be sounding like evangelical or a bit silly generally i'm a person that thinks well a lot of things in life are placebo there's nothing wrong with placebo if it makes a positive effect on you but i think this is it's a pretty powerful tool you know i've done a, i've done various experiments on my body over the years you know had a plant-based diet for over one year in my opinion that doesn't give there's a lot of people that are evangelical about the plant-based or vegan diet i think it's certainly a good thing to do if you wish to i don't think the changes on your body are as big as a lot of the documentaries that a lot of the people on the internet make out i think the changes on your body are very slight it may be healthier if it's done correctly but it doesn't suddenly make you like an athlete overnight it's it's not really that noticeable i think the changes of just doing 10 days of cold water are probably way more profound than the year uh, on a plant-based diet um that's just my opinion it's still early days to to test out this isn't like a full 
like conclusion of my thoughts and experiences on it i'll probably do another follow-up video uh, at, at some point but this is just my immediate thoughts from the last 10 days i think it's just gonna be like better just better routine i used to kind of wake up i'm a person that likes to follow news politics what's going on in the world like recession economic stuff like that it's probably given me a better balance i kind of get up now going out for a purpose going out to, for the cold water whereas before i'd make like a cup of tea read the news maybe watch uh, some youtubers who follow current affairs it's good and it's something I still want to do. Maybe I was doing it too much. I generally, it's quite a negative thing to do in the morning. The news is generally quite negative. You hear more negative than positives. Um, so just waking up, doing something positive. So this this isn't a full conclusion of the cold water challenge, but I do think there is something in it. There is something about, about making your life more positive, about being a healthier person, making really good um, mental changes to your life it's, it seems quite powerful well if i could say what what would change your life the most would it be getting up running every day would it be uh, you know cutting out all animal-based products um would it be i don't know going to a new city every week i'd say no like out of all those probably the cold water cold water it doesn't have to be every day but you know a couple of times a week at least once a week it's probably going to make the biggest change out of the things that i've experienced um so far about the various little experiments i've run in my life so there certainly is something to it uh, i've got the wim hof book now i'm reading that um so yeah we'll see we'll see that where this takes us but anyway that was cold water challenge uh, day 10 it's a pretty interesting one uh, winter solstice uh, let me know in the comments if you got out anywhere today on the solstice challenge did you go for a cold water dip did you watch the sun rise anywhere or maybe you're going to go and watch the sun set that's equally as good as well anyway thanks for watching this video guys um i do really want to keep on doing everyday youtube videos we've got the old baby cot here so this is something uh somewhat ominous about the um coming changes that we'll probably make to the youtube videos uh, but I'm really looking forward to that. I've got a few backup videos as well that I'll be that have already been recorded that I'll launch over Christmas time because things are probably going to be a bit crazy over the next few weeks once the little nippers in here. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Anyway, um, I catch. I'll, I'll do a video tomorrow, so I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Take it easy.